Do you trust the water at your campground? Hi everybody, Mike from RV Blogger here in front of the camera and Susan's behind the camera. And today we're gonna take a look at our new two-stage water filter system from Beach Lane. We've done quite a bit of research about water filters and we've discovered quite a bit about these blue water filters that you see everybody using on their campers all around the country. Hey, if this is your first time seeing us on YouTube, welcome to our channel. Thanks for being here. And if you've seen us before, hey, welcome back. We're sure glad you came back to see us again. As you know, we make tons of videos all about RVing and we also have our website, rvblogger.com, where we literally have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of articles that we've written all about RVing. And if that's not enough, we also have our Facebook group called RV Camping for Newbies, where you can join, be a part of the community, ask questions, learn from other RVers, and just have a great time sharing your experience. And we've discovered quite a bit about these blue water filters that you see everybody using on their campers all around the country. And when we learned what we learned about these babies, we switched over to the two-stage filter right away and here's why when you walk around the campground and you ask people hey do you drink the water at the campground most of the time people say no they don't they just don't trust the water at the campground and for good reason a lot of times the water at a campground doesn't taste very good doesn't smell very good and uh, it might even be a little discolored so what do people do well most folks actually pack water before they go on their camping trip. So they'll go out and buy big jugs of water, put them on board. The problem with all that is water is heavy, so it adds a lot of weight to your RV, and it's also, you know, expensive. And it also comes in plastic containers that we all end up throwing away, which is no good for the world. So wouldn't it be great if there was a way to get fresh, clean drinking water right at your campsite, right in your RV. Well, there is, and it is through a two-stage water filter system. So, in order to help explain how a two-stage water system works, I'm gonna start out with a real simple analogy. So to explain a water filter system more easily, I'm just gonna use the screen door on the RV to sort of get the idea across. A screen door on an RV is like a filter, and what it does is it allows fresh air to flow into your RV, but it filters out larger objects like flies and mosquitoes. But what it doesn't do is keep out the dust and pollen that are in the air because the screen mesh is too wide, so the, the dust and pollen can flow right through. So in order to keep that from getting into your RV, you might actually need a second screen door that has a much smaller mesh to it so it can stop dust and pollen from coming into your RV and that would give you very clean fresh air to breathe inside your RV. A water system works in exactly the same way. And a two-stage water system just means you have one filter that blocks all the big stuff, a second filter that blocks all the little stuff, and you're left with good clean drinking water once the water gets through the filters. Now, if you're like me, you're probably wondering, well, why wouldn't I just use the one screen door with the smaller mesh and just block everything, all the big stuff and all the little stuff? Well, that is a great question, and I'll answer that question just a little later on in this video. So in our screen door analogy, you can see that the first screen in the screen door acts as the first filter in our two-stage filter. It gets out all the big stuff in the water, like sediment, which would be like rust, dirt, sand, you know, heavier things, bigger particles that are in the water. And then the second screen door in our example would be the second filter in our two-stage filter system. And that gets out all the really small stuff that you can't see, the bacteria, the chemicals in the water, the parasitic cysts that are in the water, things like that that you definitely do not want to drink in your drinking water. So that's how the two-stage system works. Now, the quality of these filters is what makes it so much different from our blue friends that you see everywhere in campgrounds all across the country. This particular filter filters anywhere from 100 down to maybe 20 microns in size. So the particles that get through here that are, you know, they'll get through if they're smaller than 20 microns. 
Our two-stage filter works a little differently. The first stage is a five micron filter, so it is really filtering out all of the sediment that's in the water. And then the second filter goes all the way down to one half a micron. So you're getting so much cleaner water with much less contaminants in it when you use a two-stage filter system that goes down to just half a micron. Are you really gonna wanna drink water that's only been, I guess I would call it pre-filtered, down to maybe 20 microns? I don't. I mean, once I learned how these things work, I did not ever wanna use one of these again. I might use it upstream from this system to get some of the bigger stuff out before it even gets here, but our new system really works great and we get fantastic tasting, smelling water that's safe to drink. Now, some of the two-stage filters that you see out there cost hundreds of dollars. This one did not. It was really inexpensive. You know, it was under $65, and you just can't go wrong for that price. And the other nice thing is, once you buy it, you can unscrew each of these filters, and it has an inner filter that you can easily purchase and replace I don't know, once every three to six months, depending on how often you use your water filter. These things are rated to last, I think about a thousand hours. And so you'll get a good amount of use out of them. So why don't we walk around the other side of the RV and I'll show you how we have this all hooked up on our RV and the whole system for how it works. So here's how we have our water system hooked up. First thing we start out with is a splitter. One half of the split goes to the RV, and the other half we would just use for a garden hose to rinse things off, you know, sand, dirt, whatever. So anyway, the very first thing we put on our system is a water pressure regulator. The reason for that is because the hose itself that goes to your RV is one of the weak points in your RV's plumbing system. If you have a super high pressure of water coming out of here, one of the first things that could blow out would be your water hose. Other things that can blow out further downstream from there can be your plumbing pipes and your RV, fixtures, things like that. So you wanna put a water pressure regulator on here to make sure you're getting somewhere between 40 and 60 PSI going into your hose and then into your RV. All right, the next thing you need to figure out is where you're gonna install your two your two-stage water filter on your RV. These are made to install right on the side of your RV. You could not install it. You could just leave it laying right on the ground by your back tire. You could have your hose come in and come out the other side and then connect it to your RV. That's fine, but I would prefer to go ahead and just install it. And that way it just basically hangs on these two things. We're just gonna put a screw in each side and just hang it on there and then when we're done it removes and goes into the storage compartment so it's very easy to store and take care of and i just like it to be a little neater than sitting on the ground now where you install it is a big important consideration the main thing you want to do is look out for where your black tank is and your gray tank um, and also your fresh water tank you don't want to make a mistake and drive a screw through the side of your rv into one of those tanks you also need to look out for any electric lines or um, plumbing pipes that might be running behind the walls as well. So in our RV, every RV is different, so you'll have to look around your own for the best spot to install it. On our RV, our tanks are all back here at the back of the RV, so I don't want to be anywhere near this stuff. My freshwater tank actually sits above this line, so I'm safe if I go below this line. And actually in our RV, there's nothing behind this area. So this would be a perfect spot for us to install our two-stage water filter. One little tip before you go to install this is I highly recommend just removing the filters. And then that way you're left just with the, with the bracket itself. It's much easier to work with. You can hold it where you think you want it to go. It's just a lot easier to work with it this way. Now we have our two-stage water filter mounted right on the side of the RV. 
it's super simple to mount. I mean, it's just a couple of screws and the bracket just slides right on them. Couldn't be any easier. Uh, the one hose leads right into it. It goes through the first filter, which filters down to five microns. Then it goes through the second filter, which filters down to just half a micron. And then it continues through another hose before it connects to the city water line in our RV. So it's a super easy system to hook up. We can take this right off of the RV, store it as we drive down the road, easily hook it all back up again. Really, it's a piece of cake. So we highly recommend our Beach Lane two-stage water filter over these cheapo blue water filters any day of the week. In our opinion, it's easy to store, it gives great tasting and smelling water, and it's at a very, very affordable price as well. We'll put a link in the show notes down below if you're interested in checking it out. And speaking of checking it out, if you'd like to check out some of our other videos, just click right over here. And when you do, remember to subscribe to the RV Blogger YouTube channel and hit the notification bell when you do so you'll be notified every week when we come out with a new video. So for Mike and Susan, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.